Okay, by the way, this is Bill Gates dabbing. Over the years, I've done a lot of work with Miracast. If you look back through my early videos, ew, I've reviewed solutions like the ActionTech ScreenBeam Pro and the Microsoft Wireless Display Adapter. I've even produced a 20 minute video detailing pretty much everything you need to know about Miracast and how to fix it. Links to those below. Miracast is unlike other wireless display solutions like Chromecast and AirPlay in that it is designed to simply mirror your PC or your Android phone screen directly to a second display. Also, unlike the others, Miracast is a free open standard that anyone can use and it doesn't rely on apps, licensing or compatibility. It's basically just a straight up HDMI connection without the plug and cord. But I have to say, since it is wireless, it can be frustrating. As my streets become increasingly saturated with Wi-Fi signals over the last couple of years, it's become harder and harder to get a good smooth connection from my devices to my old Microsoft wireless display adapter. Now I missed the memo on this one, or maybe I just forgot about it, but Microsoft released a brand new Miracast adapter late in 2020 alongside the latest Surface Pro X, and it's called the Microsoft 4K wireless display adapter. I finally noticed it a couple of months ago on our price list, and so I ordered one in to try it out. It's a fair bit bigger than previous models, and I'm not sure why that is, but I suspect that one of the reasons is that it has a bigger antenna inside of it. Perhaps there's also a larger processor and components to deal with handling video at 4K. I've been using this adapter over the last couple of months, and what I've noticed is that it's much more reliable with much lower latency than previous adapters. Of course, like anything wireless, it never works as reliably as a cabled solution. And while I've never experienced a dropout with this Miracast adapter, I have occasionally seen some very minor lag. But the good news is that the Microsoft 4K wireless display adapter is much more reliable to connect to and stream to than previous models. Now, I wouldn't highly recommend a solution like this for watching movies or for playing games with. It's okay for watching movies if you're not bothered by some very occasional lag, I'd happily use it at a hotel while I'm traveling, but not for a home theater setup. But if you're a presenter and you wanna be able to present content in a room while maintaining your mobility, freedom from wires, then this is the most simple and best solution out there. To use it, simply plug it into a HDMI port and a USB port. The USB port is there for power only. There's no software or drivers to install to make this work. So you might find a USB port on the back of the TV or the projector that you can plug into to get some power. If not, you may be able to plug it into the back of your Surface power adapter or another USB power supply like a wall plug or even a battery pack. In a bind, I've even plugged this into my phone's USB-C port with a USB-C to A adapter. My phone put out enough power and I happily ran my training session with that setup. Gotta love open standards, hey? Like Wi-Fi and USB? Where would we be without them? Only Apple folks know. To connect from your Windows 10 or 11 PC to Miracast, press the Windows key and K on your keyboard. Or on Windows 10, open the Action Center, expand your control panel and go to Connect. Find your display adapter there and tap on it to connect. Simple as that. At first, your screen will be mirrored. But because this is now effectively a monitor cabled in with HDMI, I could switch modes to extend a desktop if I wanted to. The Windows key and P will get into those settings quickly. With my previous adapters, I could set the priority for gaming, watching videos, or presenting using the Miracast toolbar that would appear at the top of the screen in the latest versions of Windows 10. But with this adapter, the settings icon is just grayed out, and I haven't really needed to use it anyway because this thing just works, no matter what I'm trying to do. You can update your device's name, background and firmware using the Microsoft Wireless Display Adapter app that's available from the Microsoft Store. Just connect to the adapter and run this app. From there, you can configure the device's settings. That said, the app is completely optional since this works straight out of the box without any help. I'll leave an Amazon affiliate link to the Microsoft 4K Wireless Display Adapter in the description below. It's currently selling for about 70 bucks in the US and around 110 here in Australia. And if you found this tip helpful, give us the thumbs up and subscribe to the channel for more Microsoft tips.